Like it has been for a lot of locally owned restaurants and small businesses, it's been a year for Sophia's Greek Bistro in Garden City, to say the least. When things started slowing down last March and then shutting down shortly after that, they stepped up to the plate to provide lunches for kids who were no longer getting fed at school, well, since they were no longer going to school. They serve 1,200 free meals to those kids, by the way. They've also managed to keep their doors open these past 16 months, like a lot of other businesses, by adapting, offering more to-go options and curbside service. But since the mask mandate was in place in Ada County, Sophia's has required face coverings inside. Even now, even though Idahoans are getting vaccinated and COVID numbers have dropped along with mask mandates, Sophia's is still requiring them in the restaurant. Two reasons. One, both the governor and the mayor have backed businesses that may require them, saying they have every right to do so. And two, because one of Sophia's employees has a young daughter with a heart condition at home, and they don't want to take a chance that she could take COVID home. It was a decision they came together as a staff. They came to together as a staff, and all they ask is that customers respect that decision. And an overwhelming majority have. However, Jesse Strong, one of the owners of Sophia, says, this edict that vaccinated people no longer need to wear masks has brought them back to the beginning of the pandemic, reviving the fight over what business businesses could require of customers. And this week, it kind of came to a head for Sophia's. Hello, welcome. Sophia's Greek Bistro has been in business for almost 10 years. Two for one. For a restaurant, right. they say the hardest okay. year is usually the first. But for Sophia's, it's been this last one because of masks. I mean, we've been pretty abused over the year by people who don't want to do it, you know, uh, swearing at us, yelling at us, telling us, you know, they're never going to come back again. While they may have lost customers over their mask requirement, it wasn't until this week it was taken to another level over vaccinations. Jesse said a man came in Tuesday night carrying a mask in his hand. And he was like, do I have to wear this because the signs on our doors? So I was like, well, we would prefer it right now, you know. And While he put it on, Jesse said she heard another woman who was waiting for it to go order say something to the man. And then I realized that she, she was saying, you know, they can't make you wear that mask. It's, a, it's illegal. It's a HIPAA violation. And he was the one who told me, you know, well, I'm vaccinated. And I said, OK, well, I, you know, I just don't have any way to know that for sure. So right now we are, you know, preferring that people wear the mask. Jesse explained to the woman, as a small business, they are allowed to require masks. She argued they weren't, then threatened to cancel her order through her credit card company. And I said, well, I can refund the card for you if that's what you would like. And Which like, she receipt. did. So I was refunding it, getting her a receipt. And as I was doing that, she just was kept going and saying, you know, this is this is ridiculous. I can't believe you're doing this. This is against the law. You guys are breaking the law. I'm going to report you. And then as she was leaving, she's like, I'm going to give you the worst review you've ever seen. And then as she walked out the door, she <laughs> turned to the guy. And she said, you better keep that mask on or they'll spit in your food. And it's just like all these outlandish things that would never happen. Within an hour, Jesse said this review showed up on Google, claiming the restaurant refused to serve her without a vaccination card and I never asked for a vaccination card. Like, we've never asked anyone for that. So Sophia's went to social media to explain why they are still requiring masks and to clear up the confusion of what they are calling false accusations. That's not fair, and it's really hard already as we're a local small business, and I just can't imagine wanting to attack someone in the community that way who, who is just doing everything they can to make sure that their employees and families and everything that we get by so and their regular customers have come to their defense too well it's not true for one thing and if people were more informed maybe they would keep their mouths shut more they've always said you got the mask policy if you don't want to wear a mask don't come in here you've been at this and dealing with this for a little bit more than a year mm -hmm. do you ever wonder if this is worth it sometimes you're just like i'm so tired of this and and it's just hard because it's just like just be it's so simple to be respectful of people and just show a little kindness, you know. Since posting that response to Facebook, Jesse said they've got an outpouring of support, both on social media and in the restaurant. She told us they don't plan to ever ask anyone for proof of vaccination, and we haven't heard of any Idaho business that is requiring one or turning people away for not having one. The state of Idaho has said it won't ask for one, and neither will the federal government. Sophia's will likely keep the mask requirement in place until further guidance from the CDC tells them it's no longer needed for anyone. 